Well, you guys got arrested for what? Yes, bottle rockets. And bottle rockets? Yes. What are you guys doing shooting bottle rockets off for? We were bored. You are bored? I didn't light any fireworks on the 4th of July, so I wanted to make up for it. What'd you do? I was lighting up. That's a good friend. Is your first time here? Yes. Is your hair always that color, or did you do it just for the 4th? I dye it all the time. You dye it all the time? It's been like eight colors this past month. Eight colors in one month. I used to do that. Your favorite turn around here for me? This row here, all the way down to that very last seat, wait for medical to call you up. We were actually dispatched for shooting illegal fireworks. And he had a, a pill on him, a hydrocodone pill, and some hypo needles. What is he being charged with? Uh, possession control substance and those hypo needles. Okay. Don't do anything until they tell you what to do. You think you can get in trouble. You can stay here longer. Exactly. Hey, Officer Haney, come look at this property. Yeah, what do you got? Cuffs. Check. Some kind of leather contraption. Whose was this? This was in Justin's property. Oh, Justin's? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not very unusual coming from Vegas, but... Maybe he's into extreme sports. <laughs> Maybe. Justin! Can you come back here for a minute? Justin, would you just kind of explain about... I need clothes. What? I needed clothes. This is Those not clothing underwear. material. That's my underwear. It's underwear? It's jockstrap. And this is for? My friend gave me those. They're for many purposes. OK. So you just carry this around in your bag? Just in case I need to change clothes. That's true. You never know. You never know. <laughs> all right. You don't want to be stuck out friends' house with the same clothes feeling all dirty. Hey, whatever you do on your weekends is totally on you. <laughs> So, what all were you getting charged with tonight? Possession and fireworks. We, we blew up the bottle rock. And your friend almost blew himself up, right? They were blowing up in his face, and I was just laughing. 18 and a half years old, what are your goals once you get out of here? I mean, obviously, this isn't a place you're going to want to come in and out of school or anything like that? No. School. Go out, go party. Do you have any questions at, at all right now about anything? Okay, go back, go back, have a seat by your friend there. Hopefully Justin learns by it, you know, being as he is only 18. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they get everything straight, not come in here. Go ahead and have a seat, Renee. Want to take off that watch? No. You don't want to? You know how much this watch costs? It's OK. It's going to go into your property. You'll get it back when you leave. We just need your property right now. You can't have my watch. Yeah, we have to put it in your property right now. You would feel bad if someone took it from you out there. I thought you were doing a lot better. Now you're angry again. Took my watch. You're going to She had her? to. Don't be mad. You know how much that watch costs? You're going to get it back. My boyfriend beat me up. Yeah? He's the one that should be in here. What does that have to do with your watch? See? Good point, huh? No reason to be nasty. How did that fight start? Do you even remember? He got drunk. So did you. Keep going. And he oh, started calling me bad names, because he's not a nice guy. So you're not going to go back to him, right? No. OK. Then I'm we should... going to go get my stuff and get out of there. OK. You can go ahead and go with the other officer. Right into this room. All right. All right, Mr. Nay, here's a copy of your charge. You're here for the battery DV. Uh-huh. $3,000 bond, OK? So go have a seat with the other females. Listen for your name to be called. If you need anything, then you just raise your hand and ask the officer, OK? OK, just want to get water. OK, well, there's a water fountain right there in front, and then you can have a seat. All right. Thank you. She's still very back and forth as far as her mood, so she's definitely going to go through the detoxing process here and probably not remember anything by tomorrow and back with her guy by the time she gets out. Just a sad story. I've been working for Metro for 11 years now. Went to college, studied behavioral science, law enforcement, kind of fell into that after I volunteered as a victim witness advocate. This is my career. This is what I choose to do. Very rewarding.
fascist Germany and telling people what to do. You're gonna tell me to be quiet about five more times? If that's what it takes. How much you had to drink today, Jeff? I've never actually drank anything ever in my life. How much have you had to drink? Hey, hey, stop, stop. Nothing. You act ridiculous now. I'm peaceful, as opposed to you well, that's guys. Deba that's debatable. Ah, uh, you want to debate this? Or you, well, I'm not you sure you could what right now. Do? Well, we're going to tell you what to do, because you're because here. Because you're fascist. No, because stop that's that. our job. And I'm a nice guy, and I will never fight back. And I have actually been beat up, beat down, and quit playing with my nuts, would you? Say stop, okay? Oh, stop. now you're hurting me. Stop, okay, now. Did I commit a crime? Did I commit a crime? You mean this is her? No! Okay, you can tell that to the judge. I did not commit a crime. Come on, let's go see the medical. You can hurt me all you want. I know you have fun. Hey, did you bring Jeff in? I did. What, what happened with Jeff? Well, we are transporting prisoners tonight. Uh, the arresting officer said he was uh, basically confronting tourists uh, in front of one of the casinos. Oh, okay. Track. Harassing people. Yes, and he's been this way uh, in the van the entire way. It oh, doesn't look like he's going to play well with others, but we'll see. He may surprise us. You never know. <laughs> sure. Stand up, Bob. You just can't call me, sir. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to give you orders. Yeah. Why do people say, sir? Turn around. Right there. Have a seat. Right this way. All the way down. You're going to threaten me again? Yeah. Oh, yes or no? Are you going to threaten me again? Nobody's threatening you. You need Liar. to Liar. down. Liar. No, I'm not lying. I'm telling yeah, you Yeah, you truth. are going lie. He threatened okay. me. Did you not hear him? He didn't are threaten you. Deaf? He didn't threaten you. Oh, you are deaf. I'm going to be deaf if you keep yelling he at me. You can threaten me. You be quiet, sir. Possible code 5, ETA 4, possible code 5, ETA 4. Control just notified us we have a possible code 5 coming in, so we'll have to see what that's about. Hopefully it's not someone that's as big a handful as him. Here we go again. You need to stand up. So you're going to take your mask off. No one likes a spitter. All the way down to the end. Very last chair, have a seat. Have a seat and don't move. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Now, this is the guy that came in from the airport. He was trying to fly out of Vegas, but was too intoxicated. Oh, my God! He started a scene out there and ended up in jail instead of on an airplane. I was just give him a cool off period. Okay. Let him sober up a little bit. OK. Wouldn't be a good thing to have him on a flight sitting next to you in that condition. No, because I'm innocent. Like the front by the I'm going to separate him from the rest of the group. That way, if he doesn't make it, we can pull him out of here pretty quick. Never committed a crime in my life. Have a seat. Have a seat. I sit back to relax. Get out of my space. They're not going to, they don't like each other. They're getting ready to go. No, seriously, you are invading my personal space. You're going to threaten me again? Shut up. Oh. Sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. All right, you shut up now. Be quiet. Stand up and sit over there. Why don't you take a nap? I'm way too old for this. You nothing piece of <gasps> Oh, that got on me, too. You can't spit on people. I'm sorry. It's a little Spitting late for sorry. Family. Spitting is cowardly. Give a good pat down, too. Yeah. Stand up. Please. I'm not resisting. Spitting is a form of resistance. Ah. Uh, Jack, I'm right back to the chair. Mm. Let him sit out here and cool off before we put him through. Uh, sit down. Okay. Cool off. I'm killing you. You come here. Let's go for a walk. Can move him off the side. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. I'm a great guy. The tension between Aaron and Jeffrey was escalating. Aaron decided to look at Jeffrey and spit. Unfortunately, some of the saliva splashed up onto me. Didn't really do anything except get on my arm. So now he's got the spit mask over his head. He was trying to remove that, so he had to transition his hands to behind his back. We're going to keep these two, uh, these two inmates separated. 
As he sobers up, he'll go through the process. I'm sure they're not the last ones we're going to get tonight. You're going to have a seat in the first two rows up here. Don't get out of your seat without raising your hand, OK? If you need to use the restroom, if you need a drink of water. Left hand or right hand? It doesn't matter which hand. Do you have any questions? Yes. Um, if I'm innocent, may I leave? I need you to sit down. Once your adjudication process through the court Jeffrey, is complete, so. absolutely. Would you like a copy of your charge? Please. There you are. First You've been charged rounds, with Jeffrey. disorderly conduct. That's a shock. He's actually receiving an OR. We're going to let him out, but it's been deferred a little bit because of his intoxication. He can't leave the facility. So he's all yours. We'll take care of him. Thank you.